Use the Shop Talk discount code to save 8% when purchasing all of those great tools at truetechtools.com. Next, we have a comment from HVAC Guy, which is a YouTube channel that a lot of you guys probably already watch. A really good YouTube channel. And he is commenting on the Bosch IDS2 versus the single stage heat pump video I released recently. It says, where we are, the variable speed heat pumps don't need heat strips at all. Our lowest temps may reach 17 degrees, which is quite rare. And honestly, it doesn't drop below freezing all that often. So where he's located, I'm not sure. I don't remember from his videos where he's located, but evidently it's a southern state. So it's true. You won't need heat strips very often at all, and the defrost cycles will be so short that you may not even notice the fact that the unit doesn't have heat strips. I did have a unit I had to install one time that could not have heat strips for electrical reasons, I believe. I, I don't recall. It's been a long time. But that unit went on years and years, and there was no complaint from anybody about it. So that was a success. Also, a lot of times these units are oversized, so sometimes that plays a factor in how often the heat strips need to come on. Because an oversized unit in heating cycle is not the detriment that it is in cooling cycle. Now, you still have pitfalls with an oversized heating unit for a heat pump, but on the cooling side, you have that short cycling that will cause a buildup in moisture in the home. In the heating cycle, you don't have that. You don't have a buildup of moisture in the home because you don't have all that latent energy in the air that has to be drained out down your condensate drain. So there's ways around this stuff. So evidently where HVAC guy is at, it's not an issue, but if it gets much colder than that, people may start to notice. So that's an interesting comment. You know, a lot of mini splits don't have heat strips at all. I don't know the science behind the algorithms inside of mini splits. I really don't. You could probably check out Ralph TNN services for that. He's doing a series on mini splits currently. So you can follow along with him as he teaches people about mini splits. He's a Mitsubishi guy. He knows a lot of stuff. So very good comment from HVAC guy and a very good point about certain situations where heat strips might not be needed at all in certain places.